wonderful Taurus. Welcome to September. This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. This video is going to be a monthly Terrascope for Taurus for September. And we are just um, exiting out of the eclipse season. We had a lot of eclipses this summer. We had three major ones. And there were a lot of planets in retrograde over the summer, so things may have felt like they were going backwards or just slow or delayed, um, maybe a little bit heavy, but now we've got Mercury direct again, we've got Mars direct again, um, so hopefully for a lot of you it feels like things are going forward again. Um, I'm going to see what's coming up in the cards for Taurus. But as we go back to school, back to work, back to business, hopefully things feel like they're picking up. And maybe you released some things over the summer. Maybe you got some new opportunities, let some things go, and you've got new material to work with right now, Taurus. So let's see what comes up in the cards for you for September. <clears throat> okay, so the beginning of the month shows that maybe you're having some indecision about something. Maybe you feel stuck. Um, regarding something, not know, knowing whether to go left or right, or maybe you're just feeling at peace with things. Maybe you're feeling like you're in cruise mode. So this could be feeling like you're, you're checked out a little bit, like things are on automatic pilot, or it could mean that you're in a situation, a dilemma, where you don't know whether to go left or right, so you're kind of just ignoring the situation. Um, Sometimes two swords can just mean checking out of something, not wanting to take action, just keeping things as they are. Um, it looks like you've got a love coming towards you or, or you're sending love to someone else. Knight of Cups is the love messenger card. So it's saying, here's a cup of love, whether that's going from you or, or coming to you. Um, it looks like this could also be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio water sign who's offering love to you, or it's a message of love. Some of you may be getting love letters or loving words, or a new um, romantic partner is showing up in your life. It might be that you, you're having a hard time deciding between um, one or the other. You don't know which to choose. Let's see what else is coming up. Looks like five of swords in reverse. If there was a conflict that the sun has set upon, what this card is reminding you is to gain and collect the insights, the lessons, the valuable information that is available to you, the learning experience from that. Five of Swords is a very ego-based card. It's it's saying, ha ha, I win at all costs. You know, it's, it's underhanded in a very open way. But what I always point out in this card is Swords represent ideas, thoughts, beliefs, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. So this looks like a battle that has happened in the past, but there's swords lying out on the battlefield that you can collect and gain wisdom, knowledge, insight, and say, okay, hindsight's really 2020. I see that that's what that was about. I see, you know, what was going on there, and I understand now. That's what swords represent, understanding, wisdom. And it, it may bring you to a place of peace, serenity, balance, this is a great card for you, Taurus, for September. It means feeling both emotionally balanced and grounded. Um, it's a card of serenity. It's a card of cooperation. It's a card of finding the balance between um, two hearts, potentially. Or it can just be a card of moderation. It could be a card of finding the middle path that causes you to feel serene, enlightened, um, grounded, just in, in real balance internally. So I like that. As you reflect upon um, love versus ego, you know, that that can also provide you with help in making this decision. Do I want to choose ego or do I want to choose love? Do I want to choose drama or do I want to choose peace? And it looks like you end up choosing peace. Taurus, you know, it's it's also saying, you know, know when to choose your battles. So I really like that for you. I really love seeing temperance. It's a major arcana card, and it's really a card of serenity and peace. Do I want to be fighting about this or no? Do I want to let it go? Um, loving that, yeah. The Seven of Swords card is underhanded behavior. Someone trying to get away with something. Someone 
<clears throat> excuse me, thinking that they're not being seen in their thief-like or criminal behavior, or this is, could just be lying, cheating, stealing. So, you know, I'm seeing that that's what this indecision is about, you know, maybe calling someone out on their behavior or focusing on it, but I'm really seeing you choosing peace over conflict. That's what I really like here for September. Conflict or peace? Drama or peace? You know, egoism or love? Balance or imbalance? That's what, I, I, that's what I'm seeing your focus on being here, love or war. And, you know, let, let, the, let the underhanded behavior just walk right off of your path. They're, in some ways, they're leaving. Um, nine of cups, I mean, sorry, nine of coins in reverse. This is saying to me that you may not feel like you're able to save money or that you're able to um, you put yourself in a position where you feel independence. For a lot of you, it may be that you don't want to be single. So there's this, it's in line with this love offering. Um, it's very interesting with Knight of Cups here and Seven of Swords here. It's sort of like there may be a choice between someone who is feeling is underhanded or someone who is very loving. That may be a choice that you're choosing here. And you're feeling like, well, I don't really want to be single. So which, which choice do I want to go for? Again, do I want to choose love or underhandedness? There's a real... There's a real tipping point, but I see you choosing serenity, which I really love for you. Looks like you have lots of options. Um, seven of Cups, lots of choices. Sometimes, though, too, this card can talk about confusion and not seeing the choices for what they are, not seeing all the choices before you. But you do have lots of choices here. So be careful about your choices is also what it's saying. Um, choose balance. Choose wisely. There may have been an injustice done to you. Um, again, with the Seven of Swords person and this Five of Swords in reverse, I see that there may be something that feels unfair or it feels like a decision was rendered that did not go in your benefit. But um, again, choose peace, choose serenity, choose moderation, the middle path. There's always a way to f that's going to lead you to where you're going. And there's always a way to find peace in the situation. You don't have to participate in anything that feels underhanded, ego-driven, or unfair. You just you can just say no to it. You can just say I'm not I'm not going there. I'm I'm going to remain centered. I'm going to remain grounded. I'm not going to participate in the schoolyard ego battles um, that are going on around me. I'm going to let this guy walk right off my path. I'm not going to give him my attention. Seven of coins. So seven of coins in reverse means that there may be a way that you're feeling a little impatient about something. Um, you've been waiting for some returns on investment of time that you've put in, of effort that you've put in. And it's sort of like you're waiting to see the fruits of your labors. Like when are these, when are these fruits going to blossom and bloom? When am I going to get my harvest? Um, but you're going through some sort of spiritual thing here. You've got three sevens. And sevens represent a spiritual opportunity or challenge. And I'm really seeing that the, the question here, Taurus, is how do you remain grounded and emotionally balanced when there may be confusion, there may be underhandedness, and there may be delay in you um, getting returns on your investment, on returns on what you've put, been putting your effort into. It may be a time of patience, um, a time of just chilling out, just waiting to see how it pans out and not necessarily taking a lot of action. I'm just seeing a period of evaluation. Where's my love? Where is the love? Um, could be what's running through your mind. This could potentially have something to do with an earth sign person, so a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this could be you, Taurus, that is just saying, okay, I've put in the time, I've put in the effort, I've, I've tended to the things that I want to see results in. Why, is, why are things in delay? Where, where is the return? You know, this is slow-moving energy. And so it could just be that your plans are taking longer than you expected. This is also a card of considering, you know, with all the effort that I'm putting in, am I getting the returns that I want? Do I want to continue putting effort into something 
Um, or do I want to plant a different crop? Do I want to put my efforts elsewhere? Because um, Knight of Coins in reverse is really, it can be a card of assessing what the bottom line is. He usually considers the pros and cons of everything. Am I getting a return on my investment? Am, is At the end of the day, is this a plus or a minus for me? Is, at the end of the day, are all my efforts yielding something? Or is it just like stagnant? Um, are these fields not fertile? Am I not getting what I was hoping for? Do I want to continue being the farmer? Am I, am I farming up dust or am I farming up um, abundant crops of sweet fruits? Um, that's, that's kind of the question you might want to ask yourself because I'm seeing three cards here of coins in reverse. It could be that you're not feeling very abundant. You're not feeling like your money is coming in. Maybe someone um, is running away with your hard-earned money. It's, there's some things here that you may just want to reconsider where you're investing. Now that could be monetarily or just in terms of what you value, Taurus. Queen of Wands in reverse. There could be an, um, a fire sign that you may not be seeing eye to eye with or who's involved in the situation. This could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Potentially this could be you also, Taurus, just feeling like you're not your normal Com whether male or female, you're not feeling like confident or um, attractive or at the top of your game or able to achieve results, not being able to take action on something. Um, or this just could be a fire sign person who you're not seeing eye to eye with, who's being a little bit brusque or um, arrogant or not, not serving you in your best needs. It could be potentially that you feel that there's been a injustice to you by some fire sign. And then your last card is a two card as well. Um, this represents decision making. This represents maybe feeling a little unbalanced, like I don't know whether to go left or right. I don't know whether to put my money here or there. I don't know what choice to make. And often with two of coins, it helps to adopt a flexible, attitude. You know, embrace humor here. This is really going to help you. If you can sort of be carefree and laugh things off and say, you know what, I'm going to roll with the punches. As things go up or down, I'm just going to um, adapt to my changing circumstances. And that really, that really helps bolster this feeling of balance, of serenity. It's sort of like nothing can knock me off my game. Nothing can knock me down. I feel so grounded and so stable and so um, at peace with myself that regardless of what's going on in terms of injustice or underhanded behavior or ego related things, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stand here in my my own balance, sort of laugh things off, keep things in perspective, and enjoy the serenity. And maybe I'll reconsider, you know, do I want to keep investing in something that feels like it's not yielding? Or am I happy with the results I'm getting? That's kind of your consideration. But the main thing that I'm seeing, Taurus, is for you to retain this inner peace. If you look at all these cards, these are both twos. And this is a card of real balance, a card of serenity, finding moderation, inner, inner order, inner harmony. If you find that inner harmony, nothing nothing can upset you. Nothing can um, rock your world because you know where you're at. So that's my reading for you, Taurus, for September. I'm going to pull a couple more cards. I'm going to pull some cards from the Vision Quest deck, one card there, and then some Romance cards too. So please give me a card for Taurus for the energy for September. Yeah, Nine of Earth, Accumulation. This talks, you know, you've got this card here in reverse. So this is this is Nine of Coins. It's, it's called Accumulation here in this deck. And, you know, we see how abundant this card is. There's going to be a focus in September of where is your abundance? I'm really looking at, this is all coin energy, which is all physical. It could be related to the body. It could be related to money. It's related to whatever you value most, Taurus. So really a time to consider your own inner balance, what you value and what you put your time into. Where are Where is your harvest, Taurus? And if you're watering a field that feels like it is um, barren, then you may want to consider 
changing your focus of what you're putting your time and attention into. That's what all of these are telling me. So really take a look at, you know, your, your balance sheet, plus and minus. Is this serving me or is it getting drained away? Do I feel like I'm harvesting fruits and they're getting stolen? Or do I feel like I've got a nice accumulation going of things I value, love, peace, harmony, whether it be money, whether it be health, whatever it is that, that you're valuing, um, ask yourself, where is it accumulating and where is it depleting? That's going to serve you. And how do I stay balanced within all of that? Please give me a couple romance cards for Taurus for September. Let's take a look here. Separation. Um, this came up in the reverse, so it says the time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I'm actually getting from some of you that it may be that you've been separated or you've been in a place of not talking with your partner or there's been some sort of silence potentially, and that's that's about to change. For some of you, it may be that if you have that separation is on the horizon, but it did come up in the reverse, so there, you might need to have a talk with your partner. Or if you've been in a separation, it might be time to see if you can mend any any wounds that are there. I'm just going to pull one more card. Love yourself first. This really makes sense. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I think that's what it's saying to me, Taurus, is that you have to start with yourself. It might be time to just take a look at what is serving you and re of replenishing you and what, what's causing you to feel like there's an accumulation of things versus um, feeling feeling depleted. So start with yourself first. I always say this to people who feel like they're giving too much is when you're putting out all those bowls for everyone else that you're giving, make sure you, one has your name on it. So p feed feed yourself first, you know, fill your bowl first and then with any excess you can portion that out to all those that you want to give to. So that's my reading for you, Taurus, for September. I hope you have a wonderful September full of accumulation, full of reward, full of abundance, and I will look forward to speaking with you next month. If you ever want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so. I'll have a link up here in the top right corner. And as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. Yours in the stars. <laughs>